Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, another gameplay coming from Enhanced Gaming. Um, just gonna talk a little bit about this kid's Moab that he got. Um, he's one of our customers, uh, X Undead Snipe. He uh, emailed us and wanted us to post him a video, and we had him as a friend, and then got in his vault and recorded it, and this is how it turned out. Um, this kid, he, he has some pretty good accuracy with his Type 95. He's using um, the specialist kill streaks in which after eight kills you get every perk in the game which I mean that immensely helps your gameplay and help you get to the Moab if you're if that's what you're trying to go for I don't believe he was trying to go for Moab but after you notice he's per, he's rushing pretty hard at the beginning um, and after it gets to about 12 kills he pretty much calms it down there's no there's no really like hardcore rushing or He's pretty much just laid back, defending a spot, you know, trying, because he knows once he has the potential to get the mob, he's going to try to go for it, you know. Um, another thing is, um, yeah, he just let us know with an email. We went in his vault and recorded his gameplay, and look at him, now he's on YouTube. I mean, it's really easy. If you guys are trying to become a customer, then um, all you got to do is send me an email at bluff at enhancedgaming.net or um, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. Um, EG Bluffs my gamer tag. Um, EG Psychotic, the co-owner. Um, just really, just I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything. What, what's the worst we're gonna say is, oh, sorry, your gameplay's not good enough. Or, hey, we might even like it. We might even want to commentate it like this one. Um, I just chose this gameplay because it just it just shows, you know, like I think it shows the good and bad about the Type 95. The good is, man, you can kill someone for long range and close range, but damn, you're killing someone in one burst. That's good for you, but when you're getting killed by it, man, that's a pain in the ass. I hate getting killed by the Type 95, especially in game battles or something like that. If someone one bursts you across the map, it's it just makes you frustrated. I mean, you don't really get pissed off, you just get kind of frustrated. You're like, damn, how'd that kid kill me with one burst? It makes you want to use the gun, but then when you use it, it's like a two, three burst. Just kind of like a bipolar weapon, I think. I mean, I don't even know how he's getting one burst with the silencer. That's ridiculous. But, um, anyways, yeah, I, I, you could tell right now he's kind of, he's not camping, but he's being laid back, you know, really defensive on his gameplay and being real tactical with it. Not going in and killing people, but waiting for them to come to him and eventually get those extra kills that he needs to reach that 24 kill streak for that Moab, but... With specialists, it's you, you have hardline on, and you have every perk in the game, so you're able to get it with the scavenger, with the marksman to see people across the map through smoke, with the quick draw and the um, the mar um, the blast shield that someone throws a grenade at you, or the sleight of hand that helps you reload faster. While when you stun someone, it paints them on the map. I mean, it's pretty much all around like a great way to get a Moab. If you're really trying to set up to get the Moab, then you really want to run the specialist kill streak. That's what's going to help you in the long run, in order for you to get that 25 kill streak that you need. I mean, unless you're going to, I mean, the Moab. I would say I'd rather use like an AC-130 or a Pavel, but all those kills do not count towards your kill streaks, unless you're capping flags and get 20 kills and five flag caps. You're not going to get the Moab. Um, that's going to be really tough to do without the specialist perks on. Because then you're only running three perks, you're probably going to run out of ammo, you're going to need to pick someone else's up. Um, you're just going to need to take all these steps into getting the Moab, which has, there's a lot of downfalls to that. You having to run around to go find ammo, or you having to have a buddy kill himself, or, um, what, you're going to have to, you're going to have to eventually run out there. Um, you don't eventually have the blast shield when someone comes in there and tries to throw a grenade at you. You don't have the Stalker Pro that you don't have on your main class, but now you have it, and it you dodge death easy. Um, you can't see him like this. See how he has Marksman right there? Um, you can't see him through the smoke and stuff, but he does get his Moab. Um, I give him props to that, you know. I haven't Personally, I haven't got a Moab yet. I'd love to get one, but I'm just not really in the pub map, pub matches right now. I, I personally would rather play game battles with enhanced gaming plan and just have fun on there you know I don't get pissed off there's no campers I mean it's really competitive but you win some you lose some you know it's how it is you're, you're not gonna go 
300 matches and zero. I mean, you guys would be in the MLG tournament already, but yeah, I'm just, I was just talk. I just thought I'd bring you guys this gameplay, just um, letting you guys know like a little bit about how this is one of our newer customers. Um, he just let me know it's not, he's not going to be like a usual guy unless he, unless he wants to, unless he starts sending me emails saying, hey, uh, bluff, can you check this video out on my vaults number one, two, three, or it's titled. Moab on bootleg, you know, just something like that. Yeah, I'll be gladly to look at your gameplay and record it. I mean, hey, it helps us out, helps you out, helps everyone out, you know, helps our viewers out. It's giving them tips on how to get a Moab, you know. Um, just taking all the right steps into making the company a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, um, a little bit more experienced with editing and commentating. And, I mean... It's just helping out a lot, and if you guys think you guys have a nice gameplay or any gameplays you want me to look at, just let me know on Xbox. Um, I am trying to get like a PS3 thing going with one of my buddy's dads. He's, I'm gonna talk to him about start recording his stuff and then maybe sending it to me or maybe even buying a PS3 eventually, and so I can have like a PS3 clan that someone can run and you know um it we have to start somewhere and this is where it's starting you know on youtube and xbox and i mean advertising and just all the the crappy stuff that people don't want to do but it's necessary and in the proper ways to get bigger but um yeah so he got his moab you know there's radiation on the map like every moab that goes down but he he does a, he does really good in this match he ends up like 60 and 64 and like 24 I don't know yet I really haven't I watched it but I haven't really analyzed it you know what I'm saying um he gets his Moab and then all of a sudden things kind of go downhill um he's just so excited about it I mean I'd be freaking out if I got my Moab I don't know if it's his first one or not but I know I would be pretty excited about that and um good for him you know keep him coming I would love to just keep recording more of his Moab gameplays or Maybe even some sniper clips, but um, maybe he could work on getting a getting a um, two Moabs or um, maybe something pretty extraordinary like that. Maybe someone has a gameplay out there that is in their vault and they got two Moabs. Um, that would be something pretty amazing, and that would probably get a lot of hits on YouTube and make you pretty well known for getting two Moabs in one game. I mean, that's pretty rare. I don't, I haven't seen anyone yet that got two Moabs unless it was like a glitch. Um, I think it was on x profile, he had a guy get a Moab, but then when he got his first one, and he clicked on it to send it in, another one was on his screen already, so technically he didn't, he got two Moabs, but he didn't get the, the, um, 50 kills that you would need to have one, have two of them, you know. Um, moving on to something else, um, ground, he's playing ground war, uh, I'm not really a big fan of Ground War. I'm more of like a um, team-based games like Surge and um, Team Deathmatch. Um, Ground War is mostly kids that aren't playing with parties that want to get a lot of kills or big parties that are really good and like to just run run stuff. You know, they they just like to go in a game and just run everybody down and run them over and you know get their win streak up. And I mean, I have props to them. I do the same thing in Surge, but. Um, domination just isn't my gameplay. I don't really care for getting the high kill streaks and all this and that. I'd rather play as a team and get wins and like just be proud of ourselves for working as a team and conquering like someone else that's really good or you know I I just have a different vibe than Call of Duty and everyone has their own personal per personal preference but um, yeah that's just what I think about the game. But um. The new point system that they have for kill streaks in this game is, I think it's extraordinary. Um, I can go and I think it encourages more shooting down people, enemy aircrafts and more flag capping and planting bombs and stuff. Because in search, you can you can have the support kill streaks on. All you have to do is plant a bomb and get two kills, and boom, there's your UAV already. I mean, that's pretty helpful. One, if you have. A match going and you get a UAV in search man is it helpful you really get to know exactly where the other teams at I mean no one uses really assassin on unless I mean when I start a game off I'm using quick draw unless I see someone get three kills with the UAV 
especially in pubs because they're going to use the support class, that's when I would put on Assassin. But until then, nothing's going to nothing's gonna happen like that. And I just think that's really going to... Um, oh, dang. I That was um, the Xbox when I was recording this video. But, uh, yeah, it went black. I thought it was my Xbox right now, but I'm, I'm not recording. I'm commentating. But, yeah, guys, um, this is probably one of my longer commentaries I've done. I mean, it's pat, uh, like 14 minutes, I think it's going to end up being, or something like that. I mean, I, I don't even know what to talk about anymore, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, uh, oh, the Type 95 nerf, um, um, Trex finally coming out with a nerf for the Type 95. I'm going to be coming out with a video soon about that. And I'll let you guys know as soon as that comes out and what they're doing to it, how they're rebalancing it. Also with the FMG Akimbos. And I'm just going to keep you guys posted. Um, if you like this video, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, help us out. Just click that subscribe button right above you. And uh, let us know. Thanks, guys.